some would play. Patriots just lost. That Shit. makes me incredibly happy. I'm going to check Twitter. I bet the world's going to be blowing up. Shit balls. Oh, the world is blowing up. Well, yeah, it will. Yeah, as soon as World War Three starts. I should probably care more about that stuff, but my capacity to care right now is so great. <clears throat> I just can't focus on being that sad so much. Mm. Well, I'm like, okay, I can't control what's happening over there in Iran, but I can control what's happening to my life. So the logical thing is just to try to be happy, I guess. What else can you do? That was beautiful. That pick six there at the end was just Wait. gorgeous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> Wait until we have our cabin fucking uh, 3,000 miles away from here. and no one Well, then how are we going to play at. D&D if you're 2,000 miles away from here? You guys visit us once a year. No, we'll Skype something up. Fuck yeah, we'll it. just Skype it. You guys don't want to come visit our cabin? Nope. No. I mean, I'll come visit Because you, I love electricity and once central air and Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll have central air. Oh, I love that's too much. It's too nice to Probably give up. Wi Fi, though. Yeah, see, I no, I need I need all of that. In we my have life. to have Wi Fi. Can you encrypt some shit so that people won't know where we're at? It's called a VPN. I don't know. Does that I don't know what it is. Daphne does. Well, yeah, but even with a VPN, you're still you still have to go through an ISP. Yeah, get fucked. I don't know. That's even this. That's <laughs> even if the internet will still be around. No, it'll all be chips in our head at that point. Yeah. Well, not in my head. I don't know. I will in mine. Well, I'll totally go full on Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. I'll have an point, internet chip in my head. So and you and Matt go live together. See, like, I. We would. So for a while, I've always imagined the future is like this technocratic dystopia, but more and more, I'm imagining, like, just falling back into medieval. No, stuff. it's going to be an oligarchy dystopia where corporations run everything and everybody else that isn't in the boardroom of the corporation is fucked what they made johnny mnemonic johnny mnemonic was just like that shout out to keanu reeves shout out to keanu reeves mr keanu reeves <coughs> the overlord of the simulation yeah he didn't need to run and run that back to score he could have just slid and they could have taken a knee and won the game that way but whatever yeah his coach will be like you know well, whatever <laughs> yeah <clears throat> you guys want to hear about the deck of many things I would love to hear about it. Did you look it up? I did. Yeah. I did. And I wrote down the ones I would use if we were using a 13 and not a 22. Not a 22. 22 seems tempting fate. So tell us about it. Okay. So the deck of many things. So before you draw a card, you must declare how many cards you intend to draw and then draw them randomly. You can use an altered deck of playing cards to simulate the deck. So any cards drawn in excess of this number have no effect. Otherwise, as soon as you draw a card from the deck, its magic takes effect. You must draw each card no more than one hour after the previous draw. If you fail to draw the chosen number, the remaining number of cards fly from the deck on their own and take effect all at once. Whoa. Once a card is drawn, it fades from existence. Unless the card is the fool or the jester, the card reappears in the deck, making it possible to draw the same card twice. So here's here's the cards that would be in... Um, 13 card deck. Alphabetical. Na- uh, so, okay, so Uriel, the card's Medusa-like visage curses you. You take a negative two penalty on saving throws while cursed in this way. Only a god or the magic of the fates card can end this curse. Oh, shit. Jeez. Be careful. Uh, Flames. A powerful devil becomes your enemy. The devil seeks your ruin and plagues your life, (laughs) savoring your suffering before attempting to slay you. Wow. enmity lasts until either you or the devil dies. (laughs) I don't know if the devil's going to die. You've got a paladin. Uh, Jester. You gain 10,000 XP, oh, or you can draw two additional cards beyond your declared draws. Oh, I would take the XP. <laughs> Tell you what. Key, a rare or rarer magic weapon with which you are proficient appears in your hands. The DM chooses the weapon. <laughs> wow. it's pretty good. Knight, you gain the service of a fourth level fighter who appears in a space you choose within 30 feet of you. The fighter is of the same race as you and serves you loyally until death. Believing the fates have drawn him or her to you. You control this character. That's cool. Moon, you are granted the ability to cast the wish spell 1d3 times. Uh, Rogue, is Rogue on here? Yep, Rogue. A non-player character of the DM's choice becomes hostile toward you. The identity of your new enemy isn't known until the NPC or someone else reveals it. Nothing less than a wish spell or divine intervention can end the NPC's hostility toward you. Ruin. All forms of wealth that you carry or own, other than magic items, are lost to you. Portable property vanishes. Businesses, buildings, and land you own are lost in a way that alters reality the least. 
Any documentation that proves you should own something lost to this card also disappears. Okay, so before you play your cards, be sure to hand somebody all of your possessions. Tell you That's what, what I said. <laughs> yeah. Skull. You summon an avatar of death, a ghostly humanoid skeleton clad in a tattered black robe and carrying a spectral scythe. It appears in a space of the DM's choice within 10 feet of you and attacks you, warning all others that you must win the battle alone. The avatar fights until you die or it drops to zero hit points, whereupon it disappears. If anyone tries to help you, the helper summons its own avatar of death. <laughs> wow. A creature slain by an avatar of death can't be restored to life. Cannot be oh, restored to life, bad. period. Okay. Um... Star. Increase one of your ability scores by two. The score can exceed 20, but can't exceed 24. Sun, you gain 50,000 XP <laughs> and a wondrous item, which the DM determines randomly, wow. appears in your hands. <laughs> this is the one card I would want to draw. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That seems kind of... I, I, I wouldn't do it. That seems dangerous. Let's see. Talon's not on throne. You gain proficiency in the persuasion skill, and you double your proficiency bonus on checks made with that skill. In addition, you gain rightful ownership of a small keep somewhere in the world. However, the keep is currently in the hands of monsters, which you must clear out before you can claim the keep is yours. <laughs> That's funny. Weird. Unless they're dragonborn. Uh, the Void. This black card spells disaster. Your soul is drawn from your body and contained in an object in a place of the DM's choice. One or more powerful beings guard the, pe the place. While your soul is trapped in this way, your body is incapacitated. A wish spell can't restore your soul, but the spell reveals the location of the object that holds it. You draw no more cards. And those are the cards that exist um, in this deck of many things. So I would, de if I were to use the item, I would declare how many cards I wish to draw, and then I would draw them and would probably die. <laughs> but I could get fifty thousand XP get 50, and a wondrous XP. item. Yeah. I've got a one in thirteen chance. <laughs> I could increase a ability score by two. Okay. You know, oh, the, the, wasn't there what, like five thousand XP? Ten thousand. Ten thousand. That yep. that's cool too. It's okay. That might take me up one level. Fifty thousand would probably take me three. I would break this game. It would be great. <laughs> Y'all would be five. I'd be eight. I'd have some sweet ass skills. Lots mm -hmm. of HP. I'm the new tank. Yeah. <laughs> the monkey becomes I mean, the new tank. Like we, pro I probably. I mean, we just wouldn't be able to. Do anything. I'm you telling just... you, man. I'm so tempted to to draw one card. I know. I know. One, I just know, one know. draw. It could kill me, or it could be amazing. <laughs> I want it to. <sighs> it could kill me. <laughs> do you have to do it right now? Or can no, no, he can do it at any time. And in fact, he could he could say, "I'd like to draw four cards." And he wouldn't have to draw them all in succession. He would just have to take at least um, no longer than one at one hour between each draw. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, mean, if I'm going to draw a death, I might as well draw it. <sighs> <laughs> no, it's I've, never, ever worth it. That issue, though, is like if I get suspended animation. You're gone. And then I can't draw any more cards until I'm broken out of there. So if an hour passes, all the rest of the All cards, the rest disappear. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, deck of whatever. Many deck things. of many things. Many wondrous and terrible Pretty things. Pretty amazing. <laughs> I, I think I'm deck definitely going to draw one card. With the caveat of you handing half bag a holding and everything. <laughs> right. And yes, and you strip down. Well, I think Would he even know, though, to hand us that stuff? That's but a, the that's half a... bag of holding is a magical item. So the in, in the 13 deck, there's not the thing that's uh, oh, a okay. magical item. Talon, yeah, Talon isn't in the 13. Okay, all right. I read all 22 while we gotcha. were upstairs. Okay. I read all, all 20, but Talon's so not in the 13. I could still keep that, but I would probably do this like a ritual. I would get naked, <laughs> wander into a stream probably, and like, you know. And then pee. <laughs> to, probably. Take I would your probably last definitely piss. pee right. while drawing the card. That would be part of my ritual. <laughs> definitely last piss, right. So I'm I'm I might be pissing and shitting while pulling this card because that's my ritual. So I'm like you know, all like right, out okay. in the stream, so... naked as fuck, <coughs> all possessions forsaken for a small amount of time. <laughs> um, 